Hello YouTube, hello Twitch. It is a new game to the channel. This is UFO 50. Uh, just for some uh, dating YouTube. This came out yesterday for me. So this came out on the 18th. Uh, I'm playing this on the 19th. I've seen nothing about it yet. I'm aware that people are playing it. I'm aware apparently it's really good. And I wanted to check it out. Why, well, why did I want to check this out? Well, a few reasons. One of the big ones actually was that the development studio of this, Moss Mouth, Moss Mouth, sorry, lisp, hard to say, uh, are the same team that developed Spelunky. And this is one of the all time great 2D platformers. In terms of like a list of your know, like greatest games of all time, at least by category, I'd have Spelunky somewhere in that platforming, like roguelike area, uh, somewhere in the top three. Like I, I hold it to very, very high esteems. So as soon as I saw they were developing another game, I was like, okay, this is probably going to be pretty good, or at least some aspects of it are going to be pretty good. Uh, the other part of this game and why it's called 50, or at least the 50s in title, is it's a collection of 58-bit arcade-like games with obviously like unique games with themes to the past, but obviously we have the benefit of having some like modern game mechanics in there. So I just wanted to see, you know, what it would be like. Surely amongst the 50 games, you know, one of them is going to be a game that I enjoy. Other than that, I'm kind of going into this pretty blind. Okay, so I guess this is the 50 games. By the way, I'm also playing on a controller, which I feel like is going to be better for arcade games than uh, anything else. So I guess I can pick whatever I want. We might as well work through this in order. Now, I don't believe these are like, you know... I, I think these are all themed, like, this is a themed arcade collection, but they're all, like, unique new games. So even though they have, like, years on here, I don't know if that's actually true, but maybe I'm wrong. I can also change it to chronological order and stuff. Okay, kind of weird. Barbuta. Description. Uh, one player, adventure platformer. Explore the castle, but watch out for traps. Jump attack is the controls. Perfect. I don't need any more than that. Honestly, modern games, too many controls. History. The game that started it all developed secretly on a company time. It almost got Thorson and Peter fired. Okay. Barbuta. Oh, by the way, in terms of the camera, oh my god, this is real. Actually, I'm going to use the D-pad of my control to like go really like far back. Yeah, this is really old stuff. I, as I said, I'll move the camera. <laughs> I died when I turned away. I, I will move the camera if it's in a bad spot. So I guess on the right, you know what? It is in a bad spot already, I can tell. Just give me a second, sorry. You know what? I think this might be a Sayonara game because I'm not going to have to figure this out. So goodbye to me. And we'll get rid of the old follower goal as well. Perfect. Okay, so I have weapons on the left. This is, I assume it's my life's on the right, the egg. So I've already broken one of my eggs. And I assume the bottom left is a map. And I guess the thing in the top left is like the boss fight or something. So I have the old stabber. I have the jumpers. What more does a, a guy need, right? How do I go up ladder? There we go. Now, is there fall damage in this game? Maybe. Ooh, okay. Oh, uh, we don't quite have enough spring in our step for this. Oh, it's actually the opposite. We're not the red square, I think. I think we're the, the white dot, maybe? Hang on a minute. No, we are the red square. Can we make this jump? Da, 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 da. Okay, I don't think we can make that jump. <laughs> is what I'm, I'm beginning to believe. I think we're gonna have to find some other items. So this is like a, a Zelda-ish like game or a Metroidvania-like game. So I'm pretty certain for now we can't do anything else over here. Well, can I jump onto ladder? No. So that is like a common old game thing. At least I believe it is. Uh, you can't, like, jump grab a ladder. That is a modern thing. By the way, is this crumbly step going to fall out on me? 
Not anymore, it's not, because I'm going to just jump over that bad boy. Okay, don't trust the icy platform. All right, what are these red blocks up here? Because that's one of the other things about, like, old 8-bit games. Uh, obviously not quite got the graphic fidelity that we have nowadays. Are these things explosive? Are they things I can jump on? Can I crouch on them? There's no crouch, of course. Why would there be a crouch in a game from... What did they say? 1986, I think they said it was from. What I want to know now is, can I make this jump? No. But I didn't take damage, and that was a pretty far fall. Actually, let me check on this. I wanted to know, and I can, crumbly block game mechanic? That is a hidden secret passage. Or it has some secrets behind it. Okay, can we make two tile jump? I'm pretty certain we can't, unless there is a run mechanic that I'm missing. But why? Why go in here? Hmm. This feels like a trap. You know what? Maybe later. I don't see any crumbly wall there. I don't see any reward, honestly, for going in that room. An enemy. Okay, so I think it's one hit. Oh, by the way, you can't... You can't attack and walk. When you attack, you sort of get locked into place, which, again, is, you know, common RKD type game. Please. All right, get roasted. All right, down we go. Hmm, okay. Throwing gargoyle enemies. And we can walk out of there. Oh, and enemies respawn, okay. Good to know. Can we kill these guys? We can kill these guys as well. Okay. I mean, we have to, right? It is literally a diving board. Geronimo! That lever. Ah, okay, so we're actually fine. So there is no fall damage, or like, fall damage is insanely long otherwise. Ooh, a treasure chest. Also, the goblin. Please. Gaming legend. Okay, I want to know if I can jump on these bubbles now. I cannot. I don't seem to be able to interact with them at all. Okay. So I can't get this chest either. What is that boy? Hello. Weird Brussels sprout looking enemy. Ah, flying enemies in games like this, always a real menace. Gaming legend. I wish I didn't fall back down again. Okay, so this thing doesn't go all the way, right? No, it does go all the way. <laughs> I wish, again, this is one of these things where I wish you could feel it. There is just like a little bit of, oh god, lag on the control. But again, this is to simulate it being like one of these 8-bit games. They did just have like some lag in the, the game. Are you not going to throw your thing anymore if I destroyed it? Let me go see my friend over here. My friend is not for talking. I also think it's actually a skull. Revenge. All right, we have to. Is this a shop of some description? Also, can I walk through this? No, I can't not. I only asked because there was a platform below. 
Hello, what will it be? An umbrella for a hundred, trash for fifty, or a pin for two hundred? Uh, I mean, I know that the economy and you know shopping is expensive nowadays, but paying fifty dollars to take their trash, not a great deal. Sayonara, my Pepe-looking friend. Don't know why I really killed you. Probably should have not just jumped on the bat as well. Anyway, we're going up through the top now. Bat, please stay away from me. Hello. Is this where I was earlier? I actually don't remember. Thank God you died. I was worried for a second. <laughs> I tried, okay. Oh, we can't even get up there. Uh, can I fall down from the, the middle platform? Or the upper middle platform? I'm not convinced this is going to work, but... Yeah, okay. There is not a lot of horizontal movement in this game. I also assume that when I lose my last egg, I'm just going to get reset back to the beginning of the game. Because uh, this is another thing of the 8-bit classics, right? That they are brutal, typically. Extremely, extremely brutal, these games. No save points for you. Uh, anytime you get a checkpoint, it was normally via, like, some sort of passcode. Other than that, you just have to book up and, you know, suffer. And to be fair, it made sense back then because, you know, games might have had, like, four levels or something, and this shit needs to last you quite some time. Like, this is your, you know, Christmas present, your birthday present. Where the fuck am I going, by the way? This doesn't go anywhere either. Too early. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, we get one more bite at the cherry of life. Bat, stay away from me. Okay, the old thing also gets destroyed for whatever reason. Gonna assume that's not a bug, but I think it might be. So I can't get out there, so I have to go all the way back up again. All right, platforming achieved. And then we can't go left here. So unless I'm missing something, which, you know, it's probably the case. How? Uh, other thing about old 8-bit games, jank hitboxes. <laughs> Gotta love them. So there is this red block stuff that I never figured out if it did anything. Can't push it. Hmm. And then there's a thing over there, but I'm pretty certain I can't make a two block jump. So did I miss something on the right side? Oh, there was also that place where I went down and said like, there's nothing here. I think it's here. Maybe there is something there. Let's go down in here since I have one life anyway. Hello? Any secret goodies down here? I don't see any broken bits of block either. Hmm. There has to be something I'm missing then. Okay. Sure. Game over me. 
<laughs> I wondered if I could run across that, but I don't think I can. Like, in time. So I guess I have to bait it and then go back. Can I check from this menu, just out of interest? Jump attack. Okay. There's not a third control that I was missing. So I definitely can't get up there. Okay. Oh, there is broken blocks over here. Hang on a minute. Maybe we'll jump on the broken blocks a few times. Because again, you know, back in the old... Early 90s, I guess is probably when I was playing games more. You didn't have shit like this. You didn't have game guides. Well, eventually you did. You had the Prima game guides, but that, that's by the by. You had to just suffer with shit like this, where like you didn't know where you were going, what you were doing. It's like, just keep grinding your head against the wall and eventually, you know, something will uh, change. Cool. So it looks like that path on the left takes me across Cross the spike pit. Let me just confirm as well here. Oh! Hang on a minute! Genius! Of course, 2D wrapping. That's a thing. But yeah, like, talking about games, you know, that make no sense. I remember playing the old Digimon World game, and there are some shit, like, decisions in that that I just don't understand, still to this day. In fact, I don't think I've ever completed that game, to be honest with you. Fun game. But, boy, could you have done with, like, some sort of, you know, game guide or some walkthrough places, because, uh, man, that shit didn't make sense to me. Now, that might be because of translations. Interesting. Who knows? I assume this green stuff kills me, not the, the thing that is, you know, writhing around down here. But the, the clearly acid-looking goo. Platforming God. Okay, 50 coins. When does this come out? Okay, inside of Derek Yu's treasure room. Right, cool. We'll keep going down. Ooh, enemy that goes through the floor. Always, it's pretty spooky. Uh, I'm pretty certain, again, we can't make two block jumps, so I don't think we can get that chest. That's, you're kind of upsetting my mojo right now. By the way, you can't just walk off a ladder either. You have to ride it all the way down. Go down the ladder first, before I just do the leap of faith. Uh, you know what? The leap of faith might be easier. That being said, though, there is stuff to the left, so I think we'll go left first. You know what? I think we'll get the chest first. Very lucky then not to get splatted. And actually, I'm going to make my life easier. Possibly. Oh, I can't walk off ladder. That's right. Hang on a minute. So I can't go down the pathway that I was going to. By the way, I think this is going to crumble. It didn't crumble. I'm stunned. So yeah, I can't get out that way. Okay. Please. I forgot about that drip again. Very lucky. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually not convinced I can make that jump. But maybe you can. Let's get right to the edge. No, you can't. Okay. I must have just leapt way too early. 
Okay, we'll keep going to the left for now. We can get back again into the middle. Hmm, do I trust the sus looking block? Apparently, it was fine too. Do I trust this drip? Not really. I don't think I can make that. It also seems drippy than the other drip, so we'll say no to this right now. Bat. I'm glad that you have a more forgiving hitbox than the other enemies, at least. Okay. I think this is a new path. Just deal with this guy. Okay, leap of faith. Time it. Wait for your moment. Wait for fish guy to go across. Shank him. In the door. I think this is a vendor again. Hello, welcome to my home. If you wish to make any headway here, keep an eye out for anything out of the norm. Oh, okay, so you're just gonna give me tips and hints? This is my Prima strategy guide? All right, cool, thanks. Look for any crumbling rocks, I don't see any. All right, be patient here. Not a race, it's a platformer. So I guess we go to the right now. I guess we'll just die. You know what? Time save. <laughs> I did a death warp. Ooh, nearly did another death warp. Again, wait for your moment. We definitely went up there. We can't go right, so we're actually going all the way back up again. Definitely can't get off the ladder, right? No. You're just locked in. Bit concerned about these bats, but you know what? They were pretty chill. Well, I say that. The guy on the left was being a little bit less chill. Did I go up from here? Did that go into Derek Yu's treasure room? Either way, I'm going to have to go that way to get to the other side. Just checking. Yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was... Oh, that was going to get a little bit close, I will admit. Okay, we haven't gone down here, I think. Nor to the right, but we'll deal with the right problem later. We'll deal with the right problem now, I think. Uh, I have no idea what we're meant to do in this room. It is just a spiked pit. I'm glad I didn't just jump down there, though. Also, now that I think about it, how am I going to go right here? It's a two block high jump. And I'm going to assume the pike, the pike, the spike trap kills me. So is that it for this area for now? Because doesn't this just go back to the secret tunnels? Oh, it doesn't. Not great timing again. Perfect timing, if I do say so myself. All right, I see uh, the idle thing, the, 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 the arrow trap from Spelunky over there. I don't know if these are bridges or not. Are, are you a thing? Are you real? I can't tell. Again, another thing about 8-bit games. Okay, it is real. 
Is this something I can stand on or is this something I cannot stand on? Well, we'll go up from here. All right, who's that guy? You know what? Be patient here. Apparently not in line with the ladder. There you go. Maybe we can wait in the middle on this one. Oh my god, really? That's a bit trolly. Uh, by the way, you have to push jump to get out of the egg, which is why I just died there. Can I wait in between these? This is probably a rip moment. Okay. I'm not convinced I can wait, so you have to time that really, really well. Not again. Okay, I think you have to die there. I'm not being funny. Unless there is something on the left that can mitigate that. I'm not convinced you have the dexterity to avoid it. Uh, either way, let's... Well, we have to go this way regardless, but we'll open up the secret passageway. Uh, one of the things I will say is I've not really been paying attention to exactly where all the money is. So we'll just keep opening up pathways for now and we'll we'll come back and collect stuff later. Didn't happy, wasn't comfortable with it. Not happy with it again, we're gonna die. We're not gonna die. Turns out it doesn't hit you. Cool. Okay. This is where men are made. Okay. I know now. I can't get that close. That was too greedy. You know what? Just chill for a second. Stop pushing controls. There we go. Down we go. I think this is the limit. Oh my god! I'm actually not convinced I can make that. The time doesn't quite feel there. We'll try it again. Maybe it's like extremely tight. Please. The ladder. Sir, the ladder. Thank you. Nah, you, you can't do better than that. It, it literally isn't possible. What's to the right? Cool, flying enemy, my favorite. Uh, okay, just go down the ladder. Since you decided to stick to it. One of these guys is going to be a trap, isn't he? Uh, puzzle, try clearing, cleaning out the room first. Try cleaning out the room first. Huh. You know what? I guess we haven't tried... Well, I mean, first killing every enemy in the room, but secondly, I've not tried to kill those turret things. But I don't think I can attack on a ladder either, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not allowed to attack on ladders. Okay, kind of BS. I'm not... All right, you dweeb. Joke's on you, I'm safe inside my egg. Right, I've cleared out the room. What's my reward game? So what is the point of this place? Hmm. Good way to respawn the green eye guy. Back here again, I see. 
Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. I tried to get on the ladder like a frame or two earlier. Couldn't get on it and then I decided to go onto it. Okay, can I? Whoops, that's not the control I wanted. Okay, is there actually a way to get through this without taking damage? I, I've seen, I, I see the problem now. There's a pressure pad. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I see it now. One of these bricks isn't like the other one. I honestly was only ever looking up to see if I could make the timing. Oh my god. All right. You know what? We death warp. That's fine. That's a time save. That really doesn't kill you. Okay. So hang on, I should actually be looking out for blocks as well now that are potentially pressure plates. Okay, don't see any on this screen. Is the one on this screen? Not that I can see. Can I get between these? Am I wrong? I, I, I just don't believe I can get between it either. It feels like it's something I can't quite do, but maybe if you got like the absolute perfect timing, you can just do it. Right, any more up than this, I die. I'm trying to be so greedy. Oh my God, please. I try to be so greedy on the timing now. Oh, down we go. This is the rest of the episode for YouTube, so enjoy this uh, corridor, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I don't think you can do it. I actually just don't think you can do it. You're not fast enough. And you can't jump onto ladders or jump up ladders. Don't see any pressure plate things in here either. Man, I'm actually a little bit lost right now. Where did you go again? Oh, you went to see my friend where he says clean out the room. You don't see pressure plates in here. This is the worst thing about it now. I'm going to have to go back to all the other rooms and look for the pressure plate because I bet you there was a pressure plate that I've missed. I'm also not sure about these things. The bubbles. Okay, we can't break bubbles. West Ham fans rejoice. You can't hit me. Can I push down on this? Okay, you can't fall through it either. All right, down we go again. There's no pressure pads on that side. I feel like you get something eventually that lets you walk on spikes. And that's how we get up that gap on the right. But maybe you don't. Maybe you just have to come from it from the right side. So we got that chest before. You know what? I think that wall on the left is a fake. I think it's a, a phony. Okay, cool. Good hitbox. <laughs> that's nostalgic. For all the wrong reasons. There you go. Don't you think this wall on the left here looks a little bit sus? 
Not got cracks of it, but there you go. Derek, I see what you're doing here. By the way, this is going to be a trap as well. I already know it. I'm stunned. I will do my best to save him, my love. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia Jack, zero eight. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Okay, how do I? What did I just get? <laughs> what is that? So I've got some sort of upgrade. There is no weapon swap, so I guess it's not a weapon. I guess it's an ability. Not climbing any faster, I think. Is it like hover? It's like an umbrella. I think I can hover more. Oh, maybe I can jump two gaps now. Is that it? Uh, maybe. The bats are going to kill me. <laughs> Game over. All right, we're learning though. Firstly, that won't ever get me again. Man, I imagine people on the YouTube side of things that are just ripping everything off their bodies right now. If it was attached to the body, it's no longer attached to the body. Watch me stand on that pressure plate about 18 times. Okay, that's not the way we do this. If it is, you can jump two tiles, then we can also go to the left again, because there is stuff to the left that needed a two-tile jump. Please? Fish guy? Oh my god! Alright, that's impatience. That one, ironically, was an Elden Ring death. Where I know I can beat the boss, and I just let him hit me like eight times, because I'm like, you know what, it doesn't matter. You get your hits in, I'll just drink some red and be done with it. And he just combos me down instead. I'm stunned this isn't a trap, by the way. Like, absolutely stunned it's not a trap. Unless the trap is that if you jump at any one point, you just explode in some way. Maybe that is the trap. Right, we'll take our money. We won't visit Derek Yu's treasure chest. All right, bats. You wanna come and fight me? I do really like that some enemies have bad, or like, say bad. They have janky hitboxes, which is like, you know, an ode to some of the older games, but these annoying fly enemies don't. They have like a very tight hitbox. Okay, I'm still not sure I can make that. You thought it was like a bossy game? Honestly, when I first like walked out, I kind of thought the same thing, which I think is why it's, I originally thought not to solve it. I just thought you kind of had to like eat it, I suppose. But then again, the bossy games, as much as they, you know, they're unfair, they are fair in a sense that if you do the the required task, you will, you know, live. Okay, I I don't even can get that, you know. I really should be going back to the beginning again, because I know there's a two-tile gap there that I can't jump, and I think this is literally just, you can jump two-tile gaps. Or it's like a hover, I think, is to be more specific what it's doing. Cool. Good good jump. <laughs> I can't even be upset with the game. That was just me. Oh, can I jump too high as well? No. So I can only jump, like, one high, but I think two across. I'm stupid. You know what? Death warping. While I'm here and throwing away my lives, let me have a look at over here. Was there a two gap that I needed for here as well? Fine.
There we go. The dag up jumps slightly more challenging than you'd expect. <laughs> I can't remember what's in that room. I've also not been looking out for pressure plates, which I said I was going to do. Uh, yeah, I've not done that. I'm, I'm just stupid. I'm looking at the walls. That's what I'm doing right now. Not the enemies, the walls. And fully enough, not a good idea. It's fine. Let me just again recon this room. I'd be worried for a second. Oh, yeah, it's this dweeb. I forgot about him. Uh, any pressure plates in this room? No, not that I can see. No cracked tiles. Uh, what do you even tell me? I feel like you tried to give me like a hint or something. You're not a salesman, are you? Oh, yeah, keep your eye out for anything out the norm. Sorry, thanks for that help. He's Prima Strategy Guide. Okay, I'll remember th this guy's Prima Strategy Guide. I seem to remember that I'm trapped on the left side as well now. So I think I have to go all the way back to the beginning. You know what? I might be able to make that timing if I'm really, really quick. Wait. That doesn't hurt you? <laughs> Maybe it's just that one. Maybe that looks different from the other ones. Well, I'm glad I did this now because otherwise I could have been trapped forever. I don't think I would have gone back there after this life. But that gets me over there if I want to get over there. And this takes me to the other side here. But again, I don't have any bubble power right now. So I don't know what these bubbles are for. We can go up though. Quick check. Any platform things that I can pop or... No? Okay. No cracked walls. Okay, I can get through this, I think. Ooh. Again, is this trapped? I don't see the trap. Now, I have enough money for the first shop. Oh, I know where I am. I'm right back at the beginning. That's actually really useful. Uh, we can go through the left, so we'll go through the left for now, but that's really good intel. So the first thing we should do is get the, the power up, come into this room. Then not come into this room, I think. But I know where that room is as well. Okay. I'm beginning to get a bit of a lay of the land now. So if I'm right, this one is like the tile right from the starting room, effectively. That's the shortcut, which I didn't get this time, but that's the shortcut. Okay. And finally, I can check if I can make two tile jumps. That is so rude. They've reset the trap. Fuck you, Gabe. I knew I'd under jumped it as well. It's like, okay, you're not gonna die this time. That's what you think. I also remember what was in that first shop, other than trash. Hmm. I don't know what this glider does. Wait, do I double A? It looks like an umbrella to me. Oh, I'm so dumb. I know what the umbrella does. It means that you don't take acid damage. That's how I got through the drip. 
Right, okay, so it's nothing to do with, like, gliding. I felt like I glided a little bit, but I must be wrong. I disagree. Whatever. Right, I have a flow chart now. It, it's Peglin. It's Peglin. I just make a flow chart and I solve the game. Does Peglinify every single game? Can I sneak down here and go left? Nope, you can't. Okay. That's also worth noting. I, I wasn't sure if that was going to be true. Uh, it is true. So you have to go all the way around to get the, the correct horizontal momentum. I should probably break that path as well while I'm here. Well, UFO 50, there's 50 arcade games in here. I hope you enjoy seeing just this one because uh, that's currently what we're going to be doing. Right, this is the path I want to go along. So don't get killed by that because I'm now 99% certain it will kill me. Now I get umbrella power. Your drips will not harm me anymore. Okay. I can't remember if that moves the needle of anything else, to be completely honest with you. Unless it means I'm immune to all projectiles, in which case it does move the needle for me. But I suspect that isn't true. I should really go and get that. Because I think I'm going to be going to the shop as well fairly soon. Get off the ladder. I see you, platform. You're crumbling. The more and more I use it, the more and more you crumble. Okay. Am I going the right way, by the way? I said I got a lay of the land, but... Uh, is this the lay of the land that I think it is? It is, because that goes up to... Prima Strategy Guide. I think. Ice him. All right. So close to glory. Now, don't get killed by the title screen trap again, you genius. Okay. Ah! All right, we're good. I didn't get killed by the falling rocks at the opening. The first time ever happened. For any run. Not just mine. We can't make that jump either. One day we'll learn what these red blocks are. I want to have one last look in this room which has nothing in it. Because surely it has something in it. Any... Anything that looks like a, a little trap or any wall that looks fake. I don't see it, to be completely honest with you. So I'm going to say I don't understand what this room is for. All right, we'll come back to this later. Mushroom, what is your hitbox? Because it's like, there you go. It's basically, I have to be face to face with you. You know what? See you later. <laughs> have a good day. 
Enjoy bouncing around this area. Right. I don't think this is odd. Right, it's not odd. This is fine. Again, I see no pressure plates. Was there a breakable wall in the ice area? Oh, was it the one that... Did I forget to break a wall? Because there... Shoot. There is one in that area. Oh, I've broken it. There, there is one in the top, but I can't jump up there. That's why I was asking if this umbrella thing does a two-tile jump. Because you can't make two-tile jumps. Alright, I'm learning to leave mushrooms. I'm learning that I can't leave mushrooms. I just... I wish the hitbox was slightly tighter. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. I didn't jump. My bad. There you go. At least let me have a look at the shop one last time. That isn't the shop. Where is the shop? Is it? No, I can't go right from here. I can't make the jump. Uh, maybe it's down the pit. Or maybe it's that room there on the right. Okay, hang on a minute. It's fine. We, we, we redo it. Not that trap again. All right, you can't be impatient. You have to go around. Oh, it's also worth noting, when you input a direction on the jump, you can't flip it back. Like, if I jump to the right, I can't then input left and go back to the left. Once you've decided on a direction that you're falling in, that is the direction you're falling in. There is no alternate to this. In case, again, you're wondering, like, if I'm really bad at platforming, which I am bad at platform games, I will say that, but uh, there is a little bit of junk to this. Intentional jank, but it is a bit janky. Yeah, it is meant to be like the good old days. To be honest with you, it is giving me like the good old day vibes of these games which felt somewhat unbeatable, like frustratingly unbeatable until you remember that the game, if you actually perfect it, is like 45 minutes long, max. Hence why they put some real bullshit in the games. A bit like the monkey puzzle in the Lion King game on the Sega Mega Drive. Bullshit puzzle. But it extends the game a lot. Probably not as bullshit as the the maze in that game. The, the hyena den maze. Which is really, really fucking frustrating. But if you know all the ins and outs of it, you can beat that game in like 14 minutes or something. It's crazy. Instead of doing that in modern day games, they just put loads of fetch quests in instead. Please. Thank you. Alright, we have to go get the treasure chest. Because money. Shank him. Didn't look. Shank him. I see you breaking. All right, we're getting this part of the flow chart down now. Remember this jump is harder than you think it's gonna be. Please. I wish they gave a little bit of modern polish to the uh, ladders. 
Not, you know, the jumping off the ladders or siding off the left of the ladders. I don't mind that you're locked onto ladders. Uh, it is just the getting onto it is extremely tight. Now, I might not be helping myself here because, as I said, I'm playing with a D-pad right now to give me, like, full nostalgia of some of these older games. Then again, the Commodore, which would be, like, my main 8-bit experience of games, was joystick and... What even was the Commodore? It was, like, joystick and button, right? Okay. Now we go down and go to Mushroom Land. <laughs> I'm so careful on that jump now. No eggs cracked either right now. Maybe New World's best, who knows. I wish you would die. So I was going to say, I, I'm going to pass away here. Ah, these mushrooms! Okay. Right, so I want to go down the right ladder, which I think means we go this way, that way. Apparently get killed by his tail, okay? We now know the tail has a hitbox. My bad. Now, are you the shop, or am I misremembering? You are the shop, the Pepe shop. What could I buy from Pepe shop for 300? Because there was definitely something. We've got the umbrella, so you can actually just buy the umbrella outright. We can buy trash or the pin. I'll buy a pin. I bet you the pin pops bubbles. I guess I'll take your trash as well. Okay, we have some trash as well. Oh, hang on a minute. I wonder if the guy who said you need to clean up the rooms wants trash. Kind of rude that you throw a bat at me instantaneously. Okay. I didn't know that was an interaction either. The more you know. If you kill one of these boomerang axe type throwing guys, uh, it comes back. Now, here's going to be the real, the real test. I assume this is tied to my attack. Disagree? Oh, I know the problem here. Well, actually, yeah, I know the problem here. The problem here is that I need to retain this top left one to get the treasure chest. So I have to come from this from the right side. But yeah, I can break bubbles. Okay. And I can't get through blue tiles yet. So, I think the best plan for me Or do you guys just need two health? Is that actually what I'm discovering? It's not the hitbox, you just require two hits Maybe the mushrooms are the same And what's down here? So I can get through bubble land now as well if I want to from here Okay I'm sure there's more bubble stuff I need on the right side. Let me go through the top again. And while I'm here... Right, let me go through the right side. 
Is there actually anything over there that I need? Is trash guy on the right side here? You know what? Let me just go back. Oh, there's bubbles. Hang on a minute. I can progress this way. I hate these things. It's fine. <sighs> green eye, go away from me. Ah, <laughs> green eye. He's going to kill me again. Okay, is this the paradise of the Trashman? Maybe. Okay, never mind. He doesn't want the trash. We'll still buy the trash in the future, but I thought he might want it. Let's go this way, then. And down. Okay, we've never been here before. Ah, mm. Okay, we might be able to make that. That's conceivably doable. I wish there was a bit of background music for this game. Actually, is the background music my... Have I just turned it down too low? No, there isn't. Okay, so we need umbrella, money, pin, pop bubbles. What's down here as well? I actually can't quite remember what this leads to. Oh yeah, just mysterious spike pit, which I think we're going to need some sort of boots that stop our toes getting uh, poked and prodded. Reminded to self you don't have the umbrella either, so the, the green drips will kill you. Man, why do you have to make this room so long? <laughs> There's nothing else in it. Oh, unless there is, and I'm just dumb. All right, we're now immune to the green goo. Well, the, the drops, at least. Still can't get to that just yet. There may also be a faster path, there is. If I just drop down here to the right. I say it's fast, I'm probably still gonna have to kill the enemies, but... Yeah, we'll kill this guy. Ooh, I may have fucked up here. Okay, we're fine. I think one more time I touch that, I'm going to fall in. And we can't go at the right of this room either, because we can't walk off ladders that way. Get shanked. Now, don't fail this jump, which you love to do. Shank the bat. Okay, I'm glad that bat hitbox is big. Definitely was lucky there. Okay. So there's nothing else for me here other than to go back up. 
and get money. Man, I should have put a stopwatch on this. I'm speed running this game now, at least the opening. Open around. I don't think there's anything I want on the left side either, other than the the pin. There's no bubble problems that really help me. I deserve that. I, I knew my in my heart of hearts that I wasn't making that jump. Right, get the last coin. And now we can buy out the shop. Mushrooms, don't steal all of my lives, please. That's all I ask. I, I need some of you to come over here, though. Please. Thank you. There you go. That's the pattern I was looking for. Let me try and shank. Oh, never mind. He's leaving me to it. I think it might be two hits for the mushrooms. Okay, th they're definitely two hits. What about you? No idea. All right, deflated Pepe. Hello, sir. I have money for you. Give me your finest pin and give me your trash. Actually, just before I leave. Okay, that isn't a thing. Right, don't kill this nerd until now. Thank you, Bat. So there's nothing else for me in this room, right? I just need to come at this room from the right side, which now that I think about it, hang on a minute. Am I super, 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 super stupid? I think I am. Can't I just reset the room by going in and out of the right side? Modern problems require modern solutions. Okay, more money. So I, I guess there's another shop somewhere. And we just want to go up from here, right? And then go back to the top. And then go back to where we f saw the green knight. Uh, Green Knight is down here. Okay, so we don't need to see our guy either this time. And actually, we could probably go just this way. I don't know why I'm so tense about this jump. There we go. I kind of want to visit that very small room as well on the right side again at some point, but we'll leave that right now. Hello, NG. How are you doing? Let's go left for a change, because we know what's to the right. Ah! Hang on a minute. Are you doing well? That's really good. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing bad. I'm checking out UFO 50. All right, there's a lot more of these green guys here. Cool. Uh, so far out of the 50 games, 
I've played one of them. And I can't remember what the name of this one is. Does it tell me here? No. We'll, we'll come to the title screen again eventually. Uh, but honestly, I'm having a blast with this 8-bit platforming classic. Slight Metroidvania about it as well. Okay, I'm just going to go down. And we'll go out to the left. So maybe you can't kill these guys, or it's like unrealistic to kill them. Yeah, I've not seen you for a while, NG. I said, I hope life is treating you well. Anything secret here? All right, very sus. Very sus. Maybe I need to summon a larger green man. If only I could. Honestly, if only I could get Mirror Knight from Peglin. He'd take this guy, I think. Ah, okay. So I know where we are now. You've been on a bit of a religious journey. I'm somewhat intrigued, I'm not going to lie. You've piqued my interest. Nice sword, pal. Want to trade this for this here old rod? Sure. I have range damage. Okay, this is big. Can I... Okay, other thing I need to test with this. Uh, you're taking up Buddhism. Okay. Cool. I mean, I hope you find uh, what you need from it. In less serious news, you can spam the magic spell. That's what I wanted to test. Often the old 8-bit classics had a limit of the amount of sprites you could have on the screen, so you'd have to wait for the sprite to go off the screen. But this, you can spam it. I I'm definitely getting more than one on the screen. Now, what I want to know is, with my new magic power, can I kill this dweeb? Dweeb can be killed. Ladies and gentlemen, we did not need a green man, or a bigger green man. All we needed was a... a blipper. I am now a disgusting magic build, though. But we... we had to be, okay? I'm actually not sure you can kill these guys without the magic build. They're very slightly faster than you are. Well, I say that actually. I think we're very slightly faster than them, but they are fast enough that I couldn't catch one of them across the screen. All right, that is a recipe for another day. I was gonna say this is a chest, I believe. I'm looking for pressure plates. This room looks very suspect. I believe it's meant to be a maze, but I don't trust it. Ah, I see the problem. So there must be something that lets you jump two tile gaps. Or jump higher and more horizontal, I think. Because there is no other way through here, right? Because this... I assume he's going to bonk my head. It does bonk my head. Uh, there was no... Let me just check this before I leave. This isn't like a secret, invisible wall. I can't break it. Can't break it. Walk through it. Break it. No? All right. So, yeah, I'm pretty certain you go along the right side, but we need something that lets us go up to dial. Uh, I'm not thrilled about the position I put myself in here. <laughs> I kind of deserve that. All right, let, let me be patient and kill the bottom guy. That being said, I don't really know where I'm going up. Unless I can break through the wall there. Otherwise, I have to go out through the left side, I think.
just leap of faith. Okay. Just confirming that there isn't a secret wall. So yeah, so I can't go up from here. We know what's down. We can't go out the right top either, so we have to go out the left. Which then takes us back to this room. Uh, by the way, this one does less damage, I've just noticed. Because I'm two-tapping the, the fish heads now. Also, the bubbles are two taps. I'm still content with the deal we made. Because I prefer ranged than not ranged. Oh god, is it better for me just to wrap all the way back around to the top again? Because I still can't get that. If one of these bats hits me on the ladder, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Because I'm pretty certain now that the pathway I need to take... Is not this one. Uh, I think we have to go back to the very beginning where I jumped down a pit. I don't have to jump down the pit anymore. We don't need to see Derek use treasure room. So, yeah, we can't go down still. We need to go up and into the right. There must be a shortcut to stop me from doing this entire pathway. Right. Oh my god, just the worst death imaginable. We have three lives, that's fine. What I was about to say is I wonder if I can kill these turrets. Is that hitting you? That definitely did. Okay, I'm pretty, pretty certain I'm stupid. I'm pretty certain they're uh, immortal, which is kind of what I thought. I'm pretty certain this is the right path. Still, left doesn't take me anywhere. New. But now I can go this way, which I couldn't before. And I'm hoping this gives me something that lets me jump up two tiles. I believe that is like the missing piece of my puzzle right now. That's upsetting. <laughs> okay. So I can't go that way. Mm. So where am I going then? What's the new game plan? Where is this opened up for me? Because that just leads me down to where I was before, right? Let me just check. I can't get to the... Oh, actually, can I get to the top right? For science. No. You land on this block. I thought that was going to be the case. I guess those red blocks maybe form bridges or something. Maybe that's their trait. Hmm. Okay. I can't go out top right, so I think we have to go left. Oh my god. I can only think of going back to the, the turret hell room. 
but I don't really want to, to tell you the truth. Don't like where you're going. Okay, we'll try and ice the bat. So up goes to Prima Strategy Guide, right? I don't know if I can shank Prima Strategy Guide for body or something. Are you kidding me? Okay, so these school things, if you jump, they turn into fucking spike things. Cool. The more you know. Also. Oh, you actually have to touch them with your... Your thingy, my bob. Okay. What is this way? Ah, this room. The only other thing I can think of is going back to the green skull. Let me just ice this guy as well. Not really in the way, but... He's in the way enough. I'm pretty sure this just leads to the bottom of the pit, right? And I can't get through here either just yet. The green skull. Okay. I didn't hit, but the bat's scaring me. Come on. What is that movement? He's going to kill me. He, he's just coming for me. Every time I get on the ladder, he comes towards me, then he runs away. No idea what this skull's for. Okay. Because that's the shop on the right. And on the left is a jump. I don't think I've gone this way for some time, but I'm pretty certain this is just the, the, the diving board. It is the diving board. Okay. Oh, I tell you what, there is this way, though. And maybe I can do it now. There is a switch halfway down, and I've got range damage now. So maybe I can hit the switch. Oh, my God. This surely isn't the solution. Bat. All right. See you later. It might be the solution. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't the answer. But what if it is? I actually don't know where else to go from here. Oop. It is going to be a heinous run up, though. All right, let me do some more exploring before I bang my head against the wall of trying to solve that that way. Because surely that isn't the right solution. This part. Okay. Pain. We speed run it. Right, this way, this way, down. Reminder green stuff can kill you. We'll get you later. I actually don't know if I even need the money for anything else. Spike Pit is at the bottom. We can't interact with Spike Pit. The least patient man has entered the, the room. All right.
This gives you Umbrella. Now I'm immune to the green drip. We don't need to go into Derek Yu's treasure room, but I do need to get this money. Right, don't get killed by the bats. I wasn't worried. I'm worried! <laughs> oh my god. And then the other one comes back to get me. This was the way we said we weren't going to do this anymore. That's right. We'll go this way around. I need that money as well. Ice the fish head. Big money. Okay. Would obviously prefer to have my three lives back, but... I'll take it. I'm shocked that I made that jump as well, to be completely honest with you. I was not paying attention. We just go across, right, from here. Then up. Ah, yeah, and then, then this cycles me back to the top again. I remember. And gives me some money. I don't know what the left is, but I think it goes back to school room, right? There or thereabouts. All right, we can buy, I think, everything I need now. But there is some more money on the way. Don't get done by title screen trap as well. That's the other thing to remember. I wish I could walk off this ladder. What a quality of life thing this would be. Arch Nemesis. Defeated. Only just, though. Right. We can get some more money here. I still can't make the gap. I still don't know what the red bricks are for, either. And we still don't know what's in the room below. Like, it's just a dead room, from what I can see. We've now learned the mushrooms take two hits to die, I think. Maybe three? Maybe eight? All right, you know what? You enjoy your life. Who am I to extinguish it? You're kind of freak me out a little bit. Right, this way, that way. Double hit. Okay. Sad Pepe by his trash and pin thing. And we are golden. Now I need to go into the purple land and get the, the magic wand. And we're literally back to where we were before. I think it's faster to go down. Can I get through here? Okay. I'm probably missing one other thing, at the very least, on this area. Like a secret passage I've not gone through yet. But generally speaking, I think we're doing okay. Other than some slight impatience. Right. I'll get the money here as well, just in case there is a shop.
And across, and we're just going up. Okay, you know what? Fairly painless. Excuse me? <laughs> you know what? I, I don't think... I don't think I could get any more perfect on the timing of that. Who the fuck's this guy? Where's he come from? I, I get done by the, the curse of the hidden skull or something? All right, very cool. Uh, I'll, that'll do it, I think, for... Now, let me go back to the library. Uh, off the 50 games, yeah, we'll close the game, that's fine. That is Barbuta. I will definitely come back. I'd actually like to try and complete that at some point, but uh, for YouTube, it's getting a bit too long for you guys, so. Uh, and I want to explore some of the other games as well while I'm on Twitch, so. Thanks for watching YouTube, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.